Sabwanamgani, welcome back to Zulu Lessons with Tando, the place for modern conversational Zulu language lessons. Let's talk about the possessive pronoun. To show possession in English, you would say, my book, your car, his girlfriend. Now, you start with the pronoun followed by the noun. In Isi Zulu, we start with the noun the object that is owned followed by the pronoun combined with the possessive concord here are the possessive concords for each class i won't say them one by one because i'll just sound silly wa ba la you see Now here are the common possessive pronoun stems, so the ones that we join with the concord. So here are some common possessive pronouns that are used in Isizul. My, your, awa, your as in plural, and their. Here they go. So let's use husband. Okay, this might not really go very well, but let's do it anyway. My husband, umieni wa mi. Your husband, umieni wa ko. Her husband, umieni wa ke. Their husband, umieni wa bo. Our husband, umieni we tu. As we learned on the conjunctions lesson, when we have two vowels following each other in Isizulu, they change. So let me just remind you. So if you have two A's following each other, that just becomes one A. If you have an A and an I following each other, that becomes an E. If you have an A and a U, that becomes an O. So the prefixes that I had just shown you just a minute ago, the la and the a and the wa and the ba, those would then become le tu because when you join la and e tu, then it's le tu. When you join a and e tu, that becomes a tu. When you join wa and e nu, it becomes we nu. When you join ba and i nu, it becomes be nu. So we need to just break it down a little bit so you can apply it to all different kinds of nouns. So here's a cheat sheet for you. So if I am speaking of something that belongs to me or that is mine, the stem of the possessive pronoun is me. And if it is ours, the stem of the possessive pronoun is e tu. If it is something that is yours, the stem of the possessive pronoun is ko. And if it is something that is yours, as in all of you, then it is e nu. These do change when we put the prefix. That's where they then make sense. So note this sheet so that you can practice and apply it accordingly for each noun that you come across. So here are some sentence examples using the sheet that I just shown you. So whichever class one noun, we can take umuntu and say my person. Umuntu wami. Umuntu wami. So we've joined the possessive prefix wa together with the possessive stem mi. Me. So it is now wa me. So if I'm talking about our person that we share, then we could say umuntu we tu. Umuntu we tu. So if I'm talking about my mother, then I would say umama wa me. But if it's our mother, umama we tu. For a class two noun, a house, my house, umuzi wa mi. Our house, umuzi we tu. My eye is iso la mi. 
our eyes a measure eight or my eyes a measure army for a class four noun school is isikole. so my school is sami my schools is ikole zami my child in class five Ingane yami. My children is ingane zami. That's it, friend, on the possessive pronouns. Gizobona geskati esilandelai. I'll see you next time. Usaliga shimgani.